Hello everyone, in this video, let us talk about the smart commits and the workflow triggers. In case you're using uh, Jira software, then I'm sure you're already using uh, Git for uh, your code management. And in this video, I want to talk about uh, how you can make your life a lot easier and how you can save the time of your developers and increase the productivity. So there are two things that I want to talk about in this video. Number one is smart commits and number two is workflow triggers. So what are smart commits? Smart commits are basically uh, the messages, the commit messages that your developers can use to update your Jira issues. So imagine you are a developer, you take a look at the activity that you need to do. Maybe you are working on a new development activity. It is a story, it could be a task or it could be a bug. So you just look at your Jira issue in Jira maybe or maybe in your email notification and you directly start working on your code. So when you work on your code, you will of course uh, commit your code and you will probably push it to the repository and then you might or might not come back to the actual Jira issue where you have the details of uh, what needs to be done, what needed to be done and you will probably update the status that okay this part is now done, uh, you'll probably add a comment, you'll probably add your work log. But developers are usually lazy, they prefer working on the code but they might not uh, have time or they maybe forget to update the status of uh, the work in Jira. So using smart commits, what developers can do, they can actually include the Jira issue key in the commit message. For example, if uh, I'm a developer, I am committing some code. So in my commit message, I can refer my Jira issue key, which is let us say something like uh, abc-13 that could be my story that could be my bug and along with the, the jira issue key i can also transition my issue i can also update my work log so these things will enable me as a developer to just focus on the code just focus on uh, the resolution of the bug or developing a new feature and I can still update my Jira issue simply by using the commit messages. So in my opinion, the smart commits uh, uh, are really powerful uh, features that you should also be using along with the workflow triggers. So what exactly is a workflow trigger? So workflow trigger is uh, a way to also update your uh, Jira issue workflow along with of course smart commits but if you are working on your code repository usually your developers they will first create their own branch then they will work on the branch then they will probably create a pull request and the pull request will eventually will be merged back to the develop branch so this process of creating a branch can also be reflected in Jira. So using these, the using the concept of uh, triggers, workflow triggers, what you can do, the moment a new branch is created, you can change the status of your workflow to maybe in progress. Then the moment uh, your uh, pull request uh, is created, you can probably change the status to in review because you want someone to take a look at uh, the pull request and re review it and finally when your uh, branch is merged back to let us say your develop branch you can change the status automatically of your of your jira issue to resolve or done so using smart commits and your workflow triggers these two features are something that will actually make your life a lot easier especially if you're using Jira for software development. 
in my opinion, you should definitely not miss these two important features because it will not only make your life easier, it will make you more productive, it will let you do what you should be doing. You are a developer, then you should probably focus on developing the code rather than updating Jira issues. I'm not saying that don't update your Jira issues. Uh, there are there are a lot of things that you can only do in Jira, but uh, if you want to save time, if you are in your flow, you might not uh, be able to log into Jira and update your issues. You will probably be focused all day long on your code. So using these two features, you can probably increase the productivity, efficiency, and you can bring in the transparency, uh, transparency or I should say the visibility. Because when you open your Jira issue, you can take a look at, of course, your issue, but you can also take a look at uh, the development activity on the right hand side. So there is a web panel on the right hand side that will show you all the commits that developers are doing. That will also tell you the branch information. That will also tell you the pull request information, whether there is a pull request, the status of the pull request. And uh, uh, of course, when you go from Jira to, let us say, Bitbucket. In Bitbucket also, you have this uh, reference of your Jira issue key. So you have this, uh, this visibility in both the tools. And if you're using, of course, Jira with some code repository like Bitbucket, then uh, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't be using uh, smart commits and uh, workflow triggers. So in this video, I just wanted to talk about this, uh, this these two features and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much.